lot of SaaS companies offer a free trial, and the, one of the first questions they need to ask themselves is, well, how long should the trial last? I mean, 30-day trial is fairly common, but there's no magic about that particular number. Uh, some companies do it shorter, 15 days. I've seen other companies do 60 days. Uh, a couple of factors as you think about how long your trial should last. One is how long will it take the prospect who's using the free trial to see the value? That will vary by the type of solution it is. So for example, if it's a, um, uh, a web conferencing solution, someone ought to be able to conduct a few web conferences in a few days and figure out whether this is a product that they like and could use or whether it really doesn't meet their needs and really they should be able to figure that out in a fairly short period of time. Other solutions will take a lot longer. I'm thinking for example of uh, email marketing for example. I mean if you're going to do an email marketing trial you still you have to put together a list, a mailing list, you have to choose a template, you have to write the newsletter, you have to send it out in order to get the reports. So it, it could take quite a while. In the case, you know, a longer trial, maybe a 60-day trial, would be more appropriate. So, uh, so, so one thing to think about is how long will it take for the, for the prospect to actually see the value in your, in your product. The second issue to think through when you think about the, the length of the trial is how much does it cost you to support the trial. The more expensive it is to support the trial, you know, the more incentive there is to keep it short. So if it's a really, you know, inexpensive way to, to support the trial, you know, it doesn't require a whole lot of hand-holding, you could, you know, let that trial go on for a long time and it doesn't really cost you very much. On the other hand, if it's uh, something that requires, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching and you have to have some experienced people who are on the phone with these prospects, well, that means you have to hire and pay those people to, to do the coaching and that's more expensive. Uh, drives up your your uh, customer acquisition costs, which is something that, of course, you know you have to pay attention to. So, you know, so that's the second factor to think about: is how how expensive is it to support the uh, support the trial. One final thought on this is, you know, no matter what you set your your trial length at, if it's 15 days or 30 days or 60 or whatever you choose, you should also give yourself the flexibility to uh, extend that for you know unusual circumstances. So you find that some prospect is working with the trial and for some whatever reason they get delayed and they, they, the trial runs out. You ought to have a policy in place where you have a um, escape hatch <laughs> where you can say okay well I see you got distracted and you know let's add another two weeks onto this trial. So that's, a, that's, a, that's something you should keep in mind as you think about this. My name is Peter Cohen. I'm with SAS Marketing Strategy Advisors. You can reach me at sasmarketingstrategyadvisors.com or just give me a call at 781-801-3397.